The Fishman Triple Play is the best guitar to MIDI conversion tool on the market by far. It's like not even a competition. There's a full package deal. You can buy an entire guitar, which I don't really love doing because I like playing my own guitar. Or you can do their software versions, right? But they struggle with multi-note stuff because it's just listening to the input audio. I found that the Triple Play is kind of like the best of all the possible options. And it is super accurate and I can get a feel my own feel, my own guitar. What's nice is that once it's there, I kind of start forgetting that I'm using this new piece of tech and I just sort of get in the zone of writing and I'm a guitar-oriented writer first. I'm not really much of a piano player, so I find that my ability to like generate ideas and then get them into Ableton Live and start to iterate on that, now that I have all that information in there in a format that can be used in a kind of a more general way, invaluable tool, absolutely. The one other thing that I, I really love about it is the fact that it's not the same feel as a piano. Like the types of ideas that you create with the triple play are different because they sort of exercise a different part of your brain. Like guitar player brain and guitar player writing and piano brain and piano writing don't sound the same. It only makes sense that guitar playing should be captured in a format that keyboards traditionally have owned for a long time. I think it's about time that we have a tool that can actually do that. The thing I find it most valuable for is layering on top of a guitar. So I tend to not use it as much alone, so much as I love to take a guitar performance and sort of embellish it with things that use MIDI. So for example, stacking synths on top of my guitar playing or controlling effects in real time using the MIDI information, which is kind of weird at first, but like being able to trigger chorus effect or a delay effect only when I'm up high on the fretboard is weird. and then. It's so useful once you get used to it. So I love doing those two things. The other thing I like doing that I find the triple play is surprisingly useful for, it took some organization at first to do this, but writing all of my ideas down, getting them in MIDI and using them as a reference for later. So being able to do a bunch of riffs and put them in a folder with the audio of the riff that I did and the MIDI, when I need to fill in space in a song, I can go through that library again and I can pull stuff out and it's in a MIDI format so I can transpose it to fit the song and then just kind of relearn it in the right key, boom. Without the ability to track MIDI so accurately, this process wouldn't make any sense at all. I'd say that the wireless system was much more focused on live performance. And because of that, I was fighting a little bit with things to get it to work in a studio setting, only because I was using it in a way that it probably wasn't originally imagined for. But now with the Triple Play Express, it comes with the utility app and the way in which you can configure it, set it and forget it, and then just start playing as though it's you know something like a MIDI keyboard. As I said before, it's not a MIDI keyboard. It is not a replacement for a MIDI keyboard. I don't really have to wade through all the live performance stuff anymore. I can kind of just set the settings, start playing, and then I make music. And that's how I wanted it to be in the first place. It's pretty amazing. I think it's super cool to see the triple play works on any guitar with metal strings. That means acoustic guitars. That means any type of electric guitar. That means some other instruments that use metal strings that I want to experiment with. Technically, it would work with the triple play. It would be interesting to try to set that up. But yeah, the possibilities are, are pretty wide and varied, and I love it a lot. But recently, I saw a video of McRocklin playing with the triple play, and it's cool because he takes his guitar and he just lays down like every synth layer in the song using his guitar. That involves like the pads, that's the, the bass line. He plays the sick lead, and I think it also used the regular guitar tone as well as like a layer. So he was able to really imagine every track in his song and just rip through it without ever putting his guitar down. And I think that that says a lot about what the triple play is good at. Another video I saw recently was of a guy named Ando Sound, who's an amazing guitar player. In the video, it looked like to me he was filling up the pads and the pluck sounds, and he was layering underneath some drum machine percussion and some found sound stuff. He had a shaker, which was cool. Well, what he's able to do is sort of build the vibe from a guitar first perspective, and his control over sort of the emotion and the quietness and loudness, he's so good at the guitar that being able to capture that and put that into a song seemed like it was super easy for him to do. So I had already been familiar with Fishman products. Like I knew about the Fluence line. I already owned a triple play before we got connected with each other. You know, through some mutual connections, we actually did start talking. And then you guys were very nice and sent me more triple plays so that I could try things out and get really, you know, close to it. And I got to talk to developers of triple play 
and meet a lot of folks and understand, first of all, that everyone at Fishman is extremely competent. You guys know what you're doing. Sometimes I think maybe even too smart for your own good in some of your products. People don't appreciate how much value and time and effort you put into the products that you build. The triple play is one of those things that is so ahead of its time. It's the right answer to this problem of getting guitar performances into a computer in a different language, a different format like MIDI. What I wanted to challenge myself to do with the triple play was go, why is this not more well-known in the studio setting? And I started to develop these little patterns of working with the triple play that I that yield results that I'm still using in products to this day. It's not just about working with synths or MIDI instruments or libraries. It's about taking a guitar performance and putting it into a totally new context, right? In a new realm of possibility. So that's where things have changed dramatically because that's not where I started when I was talking to you guys. I was just like, cool product that tracks guitar. And then we started to get into it more. And I was like, cool product that will change the course of guitar playing forever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so when I was like exploring triple play possibilities, weirdly enough, it was like TikTok and Instagram reels that really connected with me because I'm seeing guitar players do things in very short spans of time. They are guitar performances, but they they sound like nothing I've ever heard before. You know, we're sort of past the age of shredding you know, 80s style guitar solos. We like technical playing now. We do a lot of finger picking type stuff. We do a lot of virtuoso playing, but I'm not seeing anybody on the other side of the spectrum who's taking guitar as sort of a small piece of a larger project, right? Taking guitar and driving the rest of a electronic project, for example, or taking guitar and pulling out elements of the performance to quickly build the entire rest of a track. It creates this cohesion in your song when you start with one instrument and you record it and put it into every sort of language possible that a DAW can use, and then you start sending it out to different instruments and the song sort of builds itself. There's a lot of like hyper pop stuff that I think is doing this the most ridiculous stuff with guitar and sounds so cool. And kind of new age industrial music is doing that. Anybody who uses like strange MIDI input devices would get a lot of use out of the triple play because in a way it is its own strange MIDI device, right? Yeah, I find it really easy to convince my friends to pick up a triple play. Like it's such a low friction tool and it's definitely a no brainer when it comes to trying to bring something else into guitar performance. Like if you wanna go one step beyond just tracking guitar and you need to open up the rest of the possibilities for guitar, Triple Play is just such an easy choice. It's a great tool that I added to my workflow. It's also such a standard kind of workhorse piece of gear now that I use. I can't really imagine a world where I'm not using it.